What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more Duel Universe. So today, we're going to be taking this bad boy out on its maiden voyage. I've never flown it. I've never done anything with it. I've, I've literally just hovered it, and it seems that it's ready to go. So we're going to take it out on its maiden voyage now. <laughs> um, this, I, this is dubbed the bumper dumper. <laughs> the reason for that is we built the whole thing. And while I was actually working on the interior here, um, I threw, uh, I, we threw a toilet in here. Cause I mean, you know, it's, it is what it is. It's it, we're going to either seats in here. It's fancy. And if you need to go, you need to go. But you know, we are like, well, what if it's going to be real bad? Well, we got a special spot right, right here. And this is the reason this is now dubbed the bumper dumper <laughs> i love it so much it's so it's so dumb but it's so funny at the same time i don't care i don't care anyways uh we're back we're doing a little bit of stuff here this is dual universe if you guys have never checked it out this is uh, what the game is i have a link down below this is not a sponsored video however if you use the link down below and you end up signing up for an account it will actually shoot a little bit towards me as an affiliate link so i do appreciate it if you do use it if not if this isn't your cup of tea awesome watch hang out have a good time uh, anyways, so yes, I actually did build this this ship. Um, it's not great looking. It's got a giant box, uh, but it's you know it's the best that I could do so far, and I like it. Now these beautiful ships over here, these were uh, not crafted by me because I don't have the skills for this. this stuff. Anyways, we're just taking this one out. So uh, it is equipped with a territory scanner, and that is going to be the focus of this video. Is I want to take it out. I want to try out the territory scanner. I want to see what we do. What we got. All the fun things. So what is the territory scanner? Actually, let's talk about the ship a little bit. Let's talk about this guy. So the, the reason I built this was I wanted some more cargo containers. So these are three large cargo containers. Now, I already know the people, the veterans in the, in the dual universe world, there's going to be comments below there. I'm like, you can't fill three large cargo containers with that. You just can't do it. You only have six large engines. You only have these wings. I understand. I understand. Okay. All right. I get it. I have like a thousand tons that I can play with. I think I have a kiloton. I have one kiloton that I can play with. So I know that's not three full containers. I am aware of that. It is what it is. Um, if we want to, I could probably extend out more engines, get some different wings in here, stuff like that. So, but I want to get this, uh, I want to get it functional so we could go out and do some things. So large cargo containers, we've got those. We've got hovers on here. We've got vertical boosters. We've got all kinds of things. This is the, uh, the cockpit, the flight deck, whatever. It's kind of boring in there. I think we need something. You know what? Hold on. Let's go grab. Let's just spice it up a little bit, shall we? All right, let's see what Safi's mobile shop. Oh, so let me just let me just tell you all this stuff right here. So uh, somebody owns this little. This is actually a dynamic course. Somebody owns this. Uh, this is um, Red's place, and I am working. I gotta get a couple more cores placed because this is like my tile, and this is the org tile. Um, I'm trying to get a couple more uh, cores placed so other people can build here and they can have shops and things like that. We're trying to make this like one gigantic like community area. Um, this building right here this large building not the ship the large building this is going to become a like an org base thing where it's just gonna be you know um, we're gonna have utilitarian things in here there's gonna be some machines that people can use there's gonna be like a hangout area you know just things like that like a little decorative org base but it's it's far underway it's not even started so <laughs> oh we got a frame we got a frame right it's something it's something anyways uh let's go grab something for the flight tank because it's super boring up there let's make let's spice it up we're gonna go to Safi's mobile shop um, and we're gonna look at these plants because the plants are probably the most fun you can have within the game. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you could do all kinds of stuff. <gasps> Ooh, suspended fruit plant. That looks delicious. You know, let's go ahead and grab a batch of that. Uh, let's see what else. I don't want these large ones. Those ones are gonna be too big. We've got pumpkins here, plant case. We've got some of those. Let's go up top because I think there's actually some wall planters if I'm not mistaken up here maybe no they were they were in the down there's weren't they yes they were in the down there's oh are these the wall planters no where's the wall planters at am i missing the wall planters i thought there was a couple wall planters i don't know but this plant looks funny uh it looks not funny it looks different so we're gonna grab that guy okay there now we have decor we have decor for the flight deck of our ship <laughs> let's make it better also um i was streaming this over in twitch.tv slash gaming i was streaming and it was daytime i couldn't even believe it and now it's about to be nighttime so my whole video is going to be in the dark and i'm sorry and there's just nothing i can do about that all right so let's go up to the flight deck area uh elevator boop 
it's an elevator but it also works like side to side so is it really an elevator hmm, nobody knows okay now linked container let's get our suspended uh fruit plant deal we'll put that right there we're just livening up the space a little bit you know and we'll go ahead and get this guy and uh maybe we'll just throw that like uh like right there you know look at that oh my gosh it's a complete rework it looks amazing super fantastically awesome all right so let's go ahead let's go find a spot oh hold on i gotta get i gotta grab fuel first what am i doing that would have been horrible we do all of that and then not even get like the fuel to go anywhere oof all right let's see do i have fuel in here uh, no because i never hooked up the uh i never hooked up the the outputs of these to these well, geez louise, look at that. There's some there's some space fuel and there's some nitro. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. You know what? We'll just go siphon it out of my other ship for now. It'll be fine. All right, she's bone dry. She's good to go. Also, if you guys are interested in joining the org and having, you know, being hanging out, doing things, doing stuff, uh, send an invite. I uh, I accept everybody. So as, if you want to be part of the org, cool. We don't have anybody recruiting now, but if you go to the organization tab and search a zone, Z-O-N-E, you'll see my logo. Uh, and that's, uh, that's me. That's me. We have like 300 and something members now. It's kind of amazing that we have so many people. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead. Let's open up for these hatches. Let's get our fuel taken care of. So nitron fuel. Let's go and fill the Oh, wow. These hold 12,000. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. Oh, this is Kurgon X4 and I'm using Kurgon X3. Okay. We'll just throw Kurgon X3 in there. I really don't want to go with empty tanks. I really don't want to go with empty tanks. Let me go see if I have any more fuel anywhere. We might have to make a stop somewhere to get some gas. All right, you know what? I think we have enough fuel just to make it to a marketplace. I'm just going to go to a marketplace and get it like a full tank of gas before we go out on this. Uh, since I apparently did not leave my stuff running, which is kind of terrible and horrible and awful disaster all at the same time, but we should be good to go so we can carry 14 tons i weigh about 388 uh now i gotta keep in mind that we are gonna be throwing more fuel in the back so it's gonna be a little bit less so i'm, I'm playing with roughly uh, a kiloton here so let's go ahead let's get into a different view because i don't like that view uh let's yeah there we go okay and then let's alt space let's get our hover up a little bit let's go ahead and disable our brakes throttle up so we can get out of the garage. And then let's go ahead and just land. No, 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 no. Land. Stop it. That's why you don't want to use the alt. That's why you don't want to use takeoff. Automatic takeoff underneath of something. It's terrible. <laughs> that could have ended everything. We could have been done right then and there. Okay. So we are going to go... We're going to go to Marketplace Alioth. I think 19 is the place that has the fuel that we're going to want to grab. Yeah, because they got 32,000 there. So that'll be perfect. All right. So um, I did. Ooh, you know what? Hold on. Before we go anywhere, let me grab some scrap. Um, I already made a blueprint of the ship. So in case we blow up, we should be okay. But let me grab some scrap in case we do blow up and we can at least repair the ship now we're good okay so let's start off our maiden voyage shall we um let's see we are going we're actually going that way so let's go ahead we should be able to hit g now we look good awesome let's get out of here let's disable the brakes and we're gonna turn around we're gonna go that way and uh we're gonna start doing some things all right away we go it doesn't actually fly bad at all. It flies pretty good, I gotta say. I'm a little surprised. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna switch over to altitude hold. And we're gonna go up to, we're gonna go up to like 2000. And we're gonna set our cruise. What is our max speed on this bad boy? I don't know. Let's go ahead and set it to 900 kilometers per hour. And we'll kind of go from there. Leveling out real nice. Looking good, looking good. I gotta say, it's not bad. Uh, the door is open and it's freaking out. <laughs> That's because, so I have the door and the, um, in the force field on a sensor. So I might have to mess with that because like, it's just freaking out right now. It just doesn't even know what it's doing with its life. 
So I guess while we're flying, we can go ahead and talk about like the purpose of this ship. Uh, the reason I built it, as you can see, it doesn't have any space flight capabilities. Now, the reason I did that is because this is purely to stay on Alioth, to go to tiles, to mine stuff, and to bring it back to our base. That's all it's going to do. I'm not going to do any space travel. I'm not going to do anything with this thing. This is purely for atmospheric travel only. Um, now, I do have vertical thrusters on here, and that's just because they provide a heck of a lot of uh, um, low altitude lift or hover capability. And we have a lot of weight. It's really nice. So I have those on there for uh, basically hovering. Uh, essentially along with some large hovers so that's why i actually have space fuel it's not actually space capable and i've designed it so um my prowler back there is space capable we have warped with it before it had we i have gone to a different planet i've brought back you know or whatever um but this guy is purely is purely for going around here doing things here doing stuff here um that's why it also has the territory scanner on the top now i've never played with the territory scanner myself so i'm super excited to play with that uh, basically, what it allows you to do is it allows you to go to a, a tile. So if I hit V, you can see all of these all of these things are tiles. So it allows you to go to, into a tile, uh, you scan, and it'll tell you what resources and how many resources are there. Now, if there's a lot of one resource, chances chances are there's a pretty big node of it there. So um, that's what I'm going to actually be looking for. Now, it takes 15 minutes per scan, and a lot of people put three scanners, so that way they can hit three tiles at once. But I, I just didn't want to make anything that big right now because I just want to see how much I use this before we scale things up. All right, we're getting pretty close. Let's go ahead and disable the altitude hold. Let's take over manual and let's get slowing down a little bit. I do have a lot of braking power, so we should be good. I'm probably not going to land directly on the platform because that's usually a terrible idea. Okay, I'm also trying to slow down because I can see that some people are building towers and I don't want to hit any of these towers. It looks like we might be okay right here though. See, there's a big tower right there, big tower right there. Okay, and we're actually on the daylight side of the planet, so that's kind of nice. Um, I don't see any ships loaded in yet. Maybe we can land on the platform. No way. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. This could end us, but hey, let's try it. See what happens here. Brakes engaged. Nice hover height. Heck yes. Oh, nice. There's actually room here. Okay, let's get, let's scoot over a little bit. I don't want to run over this. I don't want to land on top of a ship. All right, let's land her. Nice. That actually flew pretty good. I gotta say, it's it's not bad. All right, we'll go ahead and hop out. Let's grab some gas, and then we're gonna fight, figure out a tile uh, for us to go to and start scanning. Okay, so there's 20,000 liters. Uh, let's go ahead and fill these bad boys up. Well, they might not be full, but we can, we can always get more. Yeah, they're not gonna be full. <laughs> not even close, who am I kidding? Oh, maybe. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Uh, you know what? Just for the sake of doing it, I want to make sure they're both full because I'd like to see. How is this looking? 1205. Let's get a little bit of X3. I don't need a lot because, like I said, that we only use that when we're hovering. Uh, and I'm not I'm not planning on hovering around a whole lot. Never mind. We're not buying X3 here because it is super expensive here. Uh, no. Let's go ahead and move this over. We're not buying we're not buying space fuel here. That is ridiculously expensive. All right, so these guys are full, good to go. Um uh, let's go ahead, let's figure out what tile we are actually going to. And uh we'll kind of look we'll just see what about, what's around here? Is there any areas that aren't super populated around here? Because it is it is daylight on this side of the planet. You know what? This spot right here looks good. Let's go ahead and set that as destination. We'll fly over there and we'll uh We'll, we'll do our first territory scan. I'm super excited about this, actually, because I've never done one. Lift off. So we're holding 472. Oh, see, we're at 472 with the fuel capacity. Uh, oh, we only have nine minutes of hover time with this. All right, we got to go. I need to get un I need to get unhovering. There we go. Perfect. Okay. 
so let's see 27 kilometers we're not super far from it um we don't need to go that high guys look at the bumper dumper on the back it's so tidy and yes somebody could actually sit there while we fly they could actually sit down right there and then we could we could just drag them along with us that is so funny all right so we are going to go up to uh, one of these tiles it doesn't have to be exactly the tile that i was going for but my plan and the plan that i i you know my my plan is that we scan an area if we find a good area i would ideally throw a territory uh territory claim down mark it as whatever it is and then move on to the next one however i didn't do that and i forgot my territory claims so uh the odds of us finding like a really good node right from our first scan ever slim to none but you never know all right i would say we're probably good here we're gonna go ahead and uh, drop down now we're not gonna fall super fast because i have a lot of air brakes but we are going to land because I do not want my hovers using any fuel. Let's go ahead and let's hop out. And let's do our first territory scan. This is exciting. So let me go ahead and hit activate. So this is uh, do not move the machine while in operation. So basically, I just activate it. And we just kind of chill here for, uh, for like 15 minutes and wait for... Um, Wait for this to do what it needs to do. 3% done. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> like I said, I think it takes 15 minutes. So I will, uh, I'm just going to chill here and I will bring you back once, uh, once it's good to go. All right. So as I'm sitting here waiting, uh, this is almost done. 96%. I am realizing that it might just be easier to, uh, to make a blueprint of a dynamic core that had three of these on it and basically a platform and just placing it down like on a border. And just going that route and just using this to take those back and forth um that might <laughs> I, I can understand why that's a that's a big deal now because it's kind of just boring sitting here waiting for this i mean i would say it probably about 15 minutes maybe maybe not quite maybe it's like 12 minutes i don't know for sure but that is going to give us a scan result so uh it'll tell us essentially what is in the ground here at this time so uh, let's go to here and uh, looks like we've got hematite, we've got coal, quartz, bauxite. So nothing, nothing really sticks out as like, okay, this node is full of whatever. You know what I mean? So, um, and it, it kind of says like, it gives you a, a visual demonstration too. It's like, oh, look at hematite, quartz. It's, it's equal. It's fairly equal. So we'll go ahead and we can save the data. Um, and then it should go in here, scanner results. So later I can expect, I can be like, okay, cool. Uh, these are the things that I had and I can actually set this point as a destination. So that is super neato. Now, like I said, um, this spot was, uh, eh, it was all right. Nothing amazing here though. Let's, um, let's move a tile over and do one more. So you can see why doing three at a time would be better because then you'd be like, oh, okay. So we'll just do three at a time. And I think I might honestly go that route. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I think it'd be a little bit easier. And it would be uh, it'd be a whole heck of a lot faster, too. So let's go ahead and let's move over a tile. And see, this is where the hovering is going to, uh, to get expensive. Let's just scoot over one tile this way. Air brakes. Land. And then we're going to... We're just going to repeat the process. Now, while it's going, I'm actually uh, I'm actually out just kind of walking around just to see if there's any uh, any nodes that are peeking out of the ground because sometimes some of the nodes actually just stick right out of the ground. So let me go ahead, activate. Boop. Good to go. Do its thing. And uh, yeah, let's go take a peek. Um, so if you get your mind tool out and there is something sticking out of the surface, it will actually uh, outline it in green as a mineable object now this is just rock so i got excited the first time too don't worry <laughs> but if you can see i don't see anything outlining in green as a uh, as a resource node that we can mine now another really great place to do this is actually on the oceans because the ocean floor is lower than the uh, the normal terrain height so they do poke out of the ocean quite a bit you know, I really wish I could plant trees because like our area is a uh, it's like a it's like a sandy beachy kind of area. 
you know, I feel like it'd be nice to have some trees around. It's kind of, eh, it's kind of boring, you know? Uh-oh, this doesn't look like a good sign. Looks like somebody's already been whining here. How far down does it go? It doesn't go super far down, but this was obviously a node that was just chilling uh, above the ground. So somebody's already mined this. Now, I wonder if they scanned it as well. Man, that's weird. It doesn't, I don't think there's any... I mean, there's no bases super close. Like, you got this little cluster here. Nothing there. Um, I think we need to try to find somewhere that's, like, really barren. Like, I don't know what these areas are. I don't know if these are, like, super mountains. I'm guessing they're, like, super huge mountain areas. Like, this area might be good. These areas might be good. You know, I'm just trying to find areas that people have not been to before. Uh, apparently, somebody's been here before, though. So, hopefully, uh, we scan this and there's... It'd be nice if we could find something good. All righty. So this guy, wait, no, I'm trying to get up. This guy just finished. Let's see our results, shall we? It's probably not going to be anything amazing, but hey, it is what it is. Um, I mean, this one actually has uh, more quartz, coal, and bauxite, and it actually has. I mean, it. I mean, it's not a lot, but it it has better uh, better malachite and limestone. So that's pretty nice. So we're going to go ahead and save that data. It's going to go into there. Fantastic. And like I said, we can always come back to it if needed. Now, like I said, as I'm doing this, I am realizing that it would probably be beneficial because in the time that it took me to scan uh, two of these, I could have scanned six. So I scanned this one and this one, whereas I could have scanned these three and like these three or these three or however I want to do it. So I'm going to say that we're going to be doing a little bit of a redesign here because this whole like one and done thing is it's kind of annoying <laughs> it's, it takes a while it takes a while i understand why people have three so um but yeah i want to check that out i just kind of want to do that things that stuff it, it was fun and i wanted to take this on a little maiden flight and we did that we did just that it's daytime on this side of the planet it's super nice <gasps> look at those beautiful rockies in the background man this is like a really pretty area it's just such a good area so uh let's go ahead we're gonna head back and I'm probably just going to like bulk these things because neither one was uh, was super amazing. Let's see if we go back to this one. So uh, this one had. Yeah, it wasn't that great, but uh, was it this one? No, that was what we just looked at this one. This one was much better. There's there was there's a good amount of coal quartz and bauxite here. Not much hematite, which is all right. And there actually is a decent amount of malachite and limestone here too. So, uh, but no, I don't think there's. I'm not suspicious of any mega nodes, large nodes, things like that. So, uh, unfortunately, and I'm not gonna sit here. <laughs> I'm not gonna scan another one because it would take forever. Now, if I did six of these, chances are we might have found something a little bit more interesting. But I didn't because that this is the ship that I built, and I wanted to kind of take it out. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's head back to the base. I want to take this thing back. Uh, before we run out of uh, we run out of space fuel here, because <laughs> uh, go figure, space fuel, you know, right? Am I right? Space fuel, jeez. Now I am actually going to do something that is going to be also exciting. Um, let's go ahead and let's go into the map and let's just mark our base. So yeah, so on HQ says destinations, just so I can get heading the correct direction. Uh, okay, so it's 96 kilometers that way. I have nine minutes of hover time. So what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm actually going to uh, I'm actually going to set up the uh, the autopilot that this this uh, Lua provides and it's going to fly us back there for the most part. Now, I'm not going to actually let it land me there because it's going to take forever and I don't want to do that. But if I go up here, I can actually go into tab. Uh, wait, actually. Engage autopilot none weird if i hit alt one there we go okay so let's see here if we can find my two spots that i made uh we probably should pay attention to what we're doing because i'm going way too high <laughs> you know what forget it i'm not gonna do autopilot because i'm not gonna use it anyways i'll see you guys back at base all right let's get landed here now this is kind of a, a precarious landing because like there's a whole bunch of buildings and stuff here and i was coming in from the wrong side i usually like to try to try to come in from the lake side if i can uh, okay, this looks good. Looks good. Looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit my brakes. I'm gonna get this down to hover, and then we're gonna hover right on into our base place. Yeah. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's lower it down a little bit. Now, I don't know if I actually want to park in there or not. Yeah, we will. Why not? Let's get fancy. Let's be fancy and let's park inside of our little building that we have here. Look at that. Like a glove. And we'll go ahead and land. Okay, so we can press G when we're landing like that. It's it's nice and safe. It's fine. <laughs> but there you have it. We took the bumper dumper out. It was uh, it was fun. It's exciting. And you know what? I learned something today. I learned why everybody has three scanners, and I learned why they do try scanning because it's it's a it's an amazing much. It's so oh gosh, it's so much faster. You get so much more done. Is that a Truck Tech Joe? That is a Truck Tech Joe working on the elevators. My gosh, Truck Tech has been working on this base. As you can see, it is coming along beautifully. Look at this. This is all Truck Tech's doing. I just put a frame in and he's filling it out. He's, he's, he's a mad, he's a madman, I tell you. He's a madman. But um, there you go. There you have it. The bumper dumper is out. Like I said, if you guys want to check out the game, make sure you use the link down below. It does help out the channel if you do pick it up. Now, there, it is a MMORPG type game. So it is a monthly subscription type game. It's like $6.99, 7 bucks a month. And uh, they have like one, six, and 12 month options, I think. So, um, but yes, whatever you pick up, it helps out the channel if you want to check it out. If you don't, cool. Or if you just want to do a month, see what you like, see what you do. Yeah, you know, you can do the things. Also, like I said, make sure you join the org. It's a lot of fun. Anyways, that's it. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.